is Max Goldberg from Living Maxwell. I am here with Winona Howder, the executive director of one of my favorite nonprofits, the Food and Water Watch. Good morning, Winona. Good morning. I'm so glad to be here. Well, I'm so happy to interview you. It's something I've been wanting to do for a while. The Food and Water Watch is one of my favorite organizations working on behalf of organic consumers. So let's get right into it. What, can you tell everyone out there what is the Food and Water Watch and what, uh, what are you doing in D.C.? Well, we're an advocacy organization that's really focused on stopping the corporate control of our most important resources. Mm -hmm. You know, we're in a battle over what kind of world we're going to leave our children and grandchildren. And we need everybody's engagement. And we believe that people need a way to get involved. And we try to offer uh, ways that people can engage depending on how much time they have, as mm -hmm. simple as being informed and sending a, an action to an elected official mm -hmm. to deep involvement at the local and state level. And that's really what it's going to take to fix our food system. It, absolutely. And Food and Water Watch, it, you, you cover food, you cover water, you cover, cover fracking. Are those sort of the main areas that you cover? Yes, we see those issues as having the uh, heaviest impact today. Mm -hmm. And we believe that the only way that we're really going to change public policy is to have large numbers of people involved. Mm -hmm. And that's why we've put our resources into grassroots organizing. And we have 17 state offices that are really focused on giving people that opportunity right. and making the changes beginning at the state level. And that's, that's one of the great things about Food and Water Watch is because there are a lot of people out there that care about these issues and what your organization does, it gives them the structure to participate. It's not just about sending in money, but it's giving them the infrastructure to really get involved and to help make change. That's exactly right. And what we really need is for as many people to become informed and to begin taking action as possible. Really, it's old-fashioned grassroots action that's going to help us create the world that we really want for our children. It, 100%. I couldn't agree more. And one of the things, this is uh, Winona's book. It's an excellent, excellent book. Incredibly well researched. It's called Foodopoly. Talks all about the food system in the U.S. and what, what is really going on. Some things that you probably don't want to know about, but it's really important that you do know about them. And one of the things, one of the conclusions that you came to at the end of this book is you said market forces are not going to change the system, meaning if we think that if we get everyone to buy organic food that it will automatically change. But that's not really the case because it really is going to start with the policy. That's exactly right. We need to change the policies that are creating this type of food system that's not healthy, that's really poisoning people and making them overweight. And to do that, we need to have people engaged at the grassroots level. Mm -hmm. Because let's face it, corporations' mandate is to make money for their shareholders. There's right. nothing wrong with that. Right. But we want public policies that are good for people, and there has to be a balance. And for too long, uh, too many people have been asleep. Mm -hmm. So we need to wake up and and really take the grassroots actions necessary yes. to bring change. I mean, what you said is, it, it, you know, as I agree with, is that really, if we want change, it really is going to require the participation of everyone. People need to be involved. That's exactly right. Yeah. Well, please check out Winona's book, Foodopoly. You will learn a lot, I promise you. And Winona, thank you so much for all the great work you're doing at Food and Water Watch. And definitely go to foodandwaterwatch.org, sign up for their email list, get involved in the local level, and I just am so grateful for all the work that you and your organization that you're all doing. Well, thank you, and thanks for your terrific blog and all of the work that you're doing, because it takes us all together, right? I agree. Thank you. This is Max Goldberg from Living Maxwell. Just remember to buy well, eat well, and most importantly, live well. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.